someone waits for me. This is Ken Carpenter welcoming you to the Bing Crosby Show, presented by Chesterfield. Produced and transcribed in Chicago with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, Judd Collins with the mayors, and Chesterfield's ABCs in person. A, Arthur Godfrey, C, Perry Como, and now here's Chesterfield's busy little B, Bing Crosby. Oh, there's your little B. Busy little B. Mm. I want to tell you, Ken, it's wonderful. It's really grand to be here tonight to entertain the convention of the National Association of Tobacco Distributors. Uh, you having a good time, Bing? Am I having a good time? Oh, take a look at me. These aren't smoke rings under my eyes, boy. No, they look more like Lipton's tea bags to me. Let's just mention one of Godfrey's sponsors tonight, huh? This dear old Chesterfield. I want to tell you, Ken, last night was a riot. What a time we had. I lost my badge. And you know that hat band that I was wearing around my hat, the one that said, Call me Bing, I got plenty of zing? Yes, I remember that. Blew it. Oh, Lost that in the shuffle, too? Yeah, what uh, What happened to that tie you were wearing? The one that lights up and says they satisfy. That's what happened missing, to that? missing, missing, too. At least when I woke up this morning, it wasn't around my neck. The tie wasn't around your neck this nope. morning. Mm. You mean to say you've been sleeping with your clothes on? I always do at conventions. I can never tell when I'm going to get a call to dash to a party someplace. I don't want to waste any time dressing. <laughs> It's really a thrill, though, isn't it, standing here in this wonderful civic opera house? Oh, it's wonderful. Were you ever in opera, Bing? Certainly was. Oh, yeah. Yes. When I was a boy, I was with the Spokane Wenatchee Opera Company. I carried a spear, and besides that, I was assistant to the tenor. What do you mean, assistant to the tenor? Well, I stood behind him with my spear, and whenever he had to hit a high note, I let him have it. <laughs> I think I should stand behind you with a spear tonight. Well, if there are any high notes scheduled, I would recommend it. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Bing, did you ever see a town so crowded? Gee, the hotels are really please, jammed. Please don't remind me of how crowded the hotels are. What's wrong? Well, I don't like to complain. I don't like to beef or anything. But I think the Chesterfield people could have exerted a little influence and gotten better accommodations for Arthur Godfrey and Perry Como and myself. Well, what's your beef? I'll tell you what my beef is. They've got all three of us living in one room. Godfrey, Como, and Crosby all in one room? Mm hmm. But I'll say one thing for Chesterfield, though. They spare no expense. How so? They flew a sardine packer all the way from Norway to squeeze us into bed last night. <laughs> ben, you're kidding. Only mildly. You mean to say this? <laughs> you mean to say there's only one bed in the room? That's right, just one bed. And can you know how Arthur's and Perry's and my pictures are arranged on the Chesterfield gift carton? Yeah. Lucky Crosby in the middle again. <laughs> That's nice grouping. Yes, there's a nice little group approaching right now, Ken. Judd Conlon's with the mayors. We're going to get the show started with one of the big pop tunes. John Scott, may we have the downbeat? Folks, you'll notice that Mr. Trotter is conducting uh, the orchestra tonight with a leaf of the world's best tobacco. <laughs> Put another nickel in In the Nickelodeon All I want is loving you And music, music, music I'd do anything for you Anything you want me to All I want is kissing you And music, music, music Closer my dear, come closer, the nicest part of any melody. When you're dancing close to me, so oh, put another nickel in, in the nickel in. All I want is loving you and music, music, music. Oh, say, 
Paradise is part of any melody When you're dancing close to me So put another nickel in In the Nickelodeon All I want is loving you and music Music, music, music Put another nickel in the nickel machine And give me music, music, music Kids. Well, thank you, Cat. Very good. Now, I had no idea you fellas sang so well. Look, I thought the three of us were buddies. After all, we're sleeping together. Well, we're buddies, Perry. Incidentally, Bing, uh, you're a pretty heavy sleeper. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. You were sleeping on me all night, and you're heavy. <laughs> well, I just did that for comfort. You're not as lumpy as a mattress. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Arthur, I don't like to bring up personal things here, but uh, you know that you talk in your sleep? Oh, I do? Mm -hmm. All night long, you were auditioning talent for your show. <laughs> well, I guess that's because it's on my mind. I'm always looking for talent. Someday I'm going to uncover the new Bing Crosby. Well, I wish you wouldn't get out of bed so often, because every time you do, you uncover the old Bing <laughs> Bing. Yeah, Pear. I don't like to bring up personal things either, but do you know that you sing in your sleep? How do I sing? On key or off key? Off key. Goody, goody, goody. goody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, Bing. What? Listen. Goody, goody, huh? <laughs> goody, goody. Yeah. Bing, you're, you're in the middle and in closer touch with Perry. Um... <laughs> what, what does he do while he sleeps? He steals things. I steal now, things? don't try to act so innocent. You're the one that got away with my tie that lights up, and you know it. Well, there's one thing I learned about Arthur Bing. Huh? He's a real homey guy. Homey? Yeah, I never thought a big shot like you would wash your own argyles. Yeah, that's right. Incidentally, Art, you've got pretty big feet. Oh, they're not so big. No, you're the only fellow I know who uses two ukuleles for sock stretchers. <laughs> Say, you are in the ukulele business, aren't you, Art? Yep. How much do they cost? Well, plain five ninety five with socks ten ninety five. <laughs> I like one with garters. You're in the sock business too, huh? You name it, and if I ain't in it, I'll get in it. <laughs> How well we know. Honest to goodness, Arthur, I don't know where you get all the energy you used to have. Well, Bing, you see, I'm just a fellow that has to keep busy all the time. I think you need a rest, Arthur. I think the folks would also like to hear a song from Perry right now. What are you going to sing, Perry? You see, well, uh, Pop, I'd like to do on the outgoing tide. Perry, <laughs> stage is all yours, kid. <laughs> Taking you, darling, away from me But they can't take my dreams They can't take the love in my heart And although I know Drifting apart 
If heaven has meant you for me, for me, I know I will say, let your side someday. new song? Uh, thank you, Bing. Yes, the brand new one. Oh, it's wonderful. Really pretty. I must say that you sang it exceptionally well, too, considering the fact that you and I were up pretty late last night. <laughs> you know, Bing, I wish Godfrey had gone with us. Oh, so do I. <laughs> I wanted to, Perry, but I had to rehearse my morning show. You rehearsed that thing? <laughs> hey, thanks for that. Well, so it's not exactly a rehearsal. <laughs> what goes on? Well... I tell Archie Blyer what I'm going to sing, yeah. and he discusses it with his musicians, and then they go out and buy whatever instruments they need. Hey, that's pretty classy, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see, we were on... Uh... Oh, yeah, Perry and I was out last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, mm -hmm. fe you fellas had a lot of fun, too. Fun? Oh, what a nightclub we were in, Arthur. It was so smoky in there, the balloon dancer was grounded for three hours. <laughs> She couldn't take off, huh? No, but she was very exotic, very exotic. Her name was Hildegard Hogan. Hmm. Hildegard? Mm -hmm. Was she a good dancer? Well, Hilda had plenty to guard. <laughs> oh, she'd be great for your television show, Arthur. You could put Chesterfield on her bubble. Spectacular, wasn't it? Listen, I'll bet eight to five that huh. you'll be in TV yourself inside of two years, Bing. Well, maybe in one form or another I will be. I understand Paramount is aging my movies for it right now. <laughs> you see, that's where he's got us, Perry. Wow. When you and I are old, old men in television, Crosby here will suddenly pop up in the big broadcast of 1932 and look like Donald O'Connor. <laughs> oh, you guys. Arthur, how about you doing a little work here? You got a solo or something? If someone will hand me my ukulele, I might do making love ukulele stuff. Bring up that lethal instrument. Huh? Help yourself with the mic, Arthur. Okay, see? This is going to be something. Let me see. Making love ukulele style. You don't have to be in Waikiki. Making love. Ukulele style to a lovely ukulele serenade When you love Ukulele style With every note your heart will float far away To a tropic isle while a ukulele tune is softly played Strolling along beneath the starlight Dreaming a lover's dream for two Soon you will see her eyes are star bright As the ukulele magic comes through So if you want to satisfy The one you love all else above Take a tip and be sure you try The ukulele style of making love Now when you love ukulele style You just... When you love ukulele style, you just now all you do ukulele style is just when you love ukulele style, you just strolling along beneath the starlight. Dreaming a lover's dream for two Soon you will see her eyes are star bright As that ukulele magic comes through 
so if you want to satisfy the one you love all else above take a tip and be sure you try the ukulele style yes the ukulele style of making love Just a touch of old Hawaii. You know, Arthur, I was talking to Eddie uh, Hubbard, uh, Chicago's Chesterfield disc jockey here uh, before yeah. the show. You know what he told me? He told me that your record of candy and cake is really going big. Hey, good, good, good. Big record. <laughs> hey, how about you and me singing candy and cake right now? Fine, I'll do anything to be associated with a hit. Just, just <laughs> uh, Okay, you be candy and I'll be cake. That's Jake. Mr. Trotter, let's have it. Angel pie, your pet confection Sweetie pie, she's perfection Candy and cake Candy and cake My honey's as sweet a tree Is eating candy and cake Sugar and spice Everything nice And a kissing her once Ain't half as sweet As kissing her twice I can be smart And I can be wise But oh, when she rolls her roly-poly jelly bean eyes I shiver and shake My heart will just break If some other love should rob me of my candy and cake Candy and cake Candy and cake Candy and cake Everything's Jake My honey's as sweet a treat as eating candy and cake Sugar and spice And everything nice And kissing him once and half as sweet as kissing him twice Let's do it again I can be smart Be smart I can be wise Be wise but oh, when she rolls her roly-poly jelly bean eyes I shiver and shake My heart will just break If some other love should ever rob me That would sure play hard with me If some other love should rob me of my candy and cake Rob me of candy Phantom of the Opera, though. <laughs> and that was Candy and Cake, sung by Bing Crosby and Arthur Godfrey, two great favorites of the older set. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Bing, this kid gets pretty uppity when he gets on the road. <laughs> Oh, I think he's just excited over the convention, Arthur. Besides, before he gets home tonight, I'm going to put a frog in his part of the bed. He <laughs> Don't you think you and I should do a little something uh, in the way of a song, Perry? Hmm? Fine with me, Ben. How about that... Uh, I heard you sing it uh, a couple of weeks ago, that song from the Disney picture, uh, Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. Hey, that's real smooth. Well, I hope we don't rough it up any. Hmm? John Scott, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Whatever you 
wish for you keep have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. Those are the introductory strains The Dear Old Girl With Arthur Godfrey and Perry Como here tonight I think a little barbershop harmony Is definitely in order Well, Bing, you take the tenor Oh, no, 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 mon Pierre <laughs> Mais no, You grab the tenor I'm the baritone What do we want to handle, Arthur? Oh, I'll carry the harmony in a bucket Good luck to you <laughs> Dear old girl The robin sings above Dear old girl, it speaks of how I love you. The blinding tears are falling as I think of my lost pearl and my broken heart is called. Calling for you, dear old girl. Dear old girl, the robin sings about you. Dear old girl. It speaks of how I love you. The blinding tears are falling as I think of my lost pearl. And my broken heart is whole. Calling for you, dear old girl. Dear is Chesterfield's Wednesday evening radio offering. I want to thank Arthur Godfrey and Perry Como for joining us here in the Chicago Civic Opera House. Oh, we had a lot of fun, Bing. It was nice being here and meeting so many of the folks of the Tobacco Distributors Convention. Oh, aren't they a great bunch? What do we do now, fellas? Well, let's go out to Shangri-La, grab some of that good food, and then get back to the Ambassador East and hit the hay, huh? Who's going to be with you next week, Bing? Next week, Arthur, we have a wonderful show planned. With us next Wednesday will be Miss Mildred Bailey. Say, Mildred Bailey, she mm -hmm. goes back to the Whiteman days, doesn't she? She sure does, Arthur, and she still goes great on a song. Also with us will be the famous Dixieland jazz band from the Mocambo in Hollywood. 
The Firehouse Five plus two. Oh, they're terrific. They're man. great, Perry. Thanks again, fellas, for being with me, hon. Before I hit the stage door, I'd like to throw in a reminder that giving to the Red Cross means helping a friend in the time of need. Also, let's not forget those Easter seals for crippled children. I'll see you next week for Chesterfield, folks. The best cigarette for you to smoke. The Bing Crosby Show, presented by Chesterfield, was produced and transcribed in Chicago by Bill Morrow and Myrtle McKenzie. Tune in next week and hear Bing and his guests, Mildred Bailey and the Firehouse Five Plus Two. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show follows immediately. <laughs>